Hello Makers, welcome 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I want to talk to you about the Vertigo Galaxy. Stick around. Welcome back Makers. It's time to finally present to you the Vertigo Galaxy. Yes, the latest in the Extrafill PLA lineup from Filamentum. Now the name sounds familiar, it's because it carries the same Vertigo name as the Vertigo Grey. However, whereas the Vertigo Grey is grey, the Galaxy is actually much different. It has this gorgeous deep olive green color to it and instead of the silver flakes they've added these gold flakes to it which make it extremely extremely nice and makes the color pop quite a bit. Now I've had the pleasure of uh, printing with the uh, Vertigo Galaxy for quite some time now in order to give Filamentum any feedback that I had with the filament itself. However true to form with every Vertigo filament that I've printed with so far the layers lay down absolutely beautiful. They blend really nicely together and it's extremely easy to use this filament. So I started off by printing the uh, faceless model by Fantasy Graph. This was printed on the Anycubic i3 Mega at 100 microns. Now I found that this particular filament prints extremely beautifully at 205 degrees. So everything you see here was printed at 205 degrees. Once I printed that, I threw in the Vertigo Galaxy on the GTEC Giant Arm D200, and I also threw some more prints at 100 microns because it seems like even that printer is actually quite good at 100 microns. First up was Snow the Product Bust. This was also printed at 205 degrees at 100 microns. It's another model by Fantasy Graph, which you can find on Pinshape, and it printed absolutely beautifully. And the one thing that I like about this filament is depending on the light you're using to look at it, whether it's the sun, whether it's UV light, it all depends on how it hits it and it makes the glitters pop out even more according to the angles the light hits it. Then I also threw in another model by Fantasy Graph and this is the Love Me model and this is also printed at 100 microns and it came out almost flawless. The layers blended beautifully together and once again the sheen on the gold flakes pops out really nicely. I then threw in a print which was sent to me by a buddy of mine, Filament Frenzy, and it's this Lion Bust light here. This is probably one of the coolest, most awesome models I've ever seen. It prints with pre-incorporated supports on the front teeth. And that's basically it. Other than that, it requires no supports whatsoever. This was also printed on the GTEC Giant Arm D200 at 100 micron layers. And it turned out perfect. Then obviously I decided to throw in a vase and I printed this spiral vase by Devin Montes. This was printed at 200 micron layer heights at 65 millimeters a second. And something I noticed is that when you print at 200 microns the gold glitter seem more dense giving it a much much more intense sheen to it. So it's definitely something I want to explore more and print more in 200 micron layer heights. Finally, I wanted to try out the variable layer height feature on the Palette Plus. So while it was installed on the Enervision EV160, I threw in this vase. And apart from the Vertigo Galaxy, I also threw in some Filamentum Rapunzel Silver. And I have to say it came out absolutely beautiful. The colors really complement each other. So honestly speaking, I see a dual color print in the foreseeable future for these two filaments right here. So that is it for me, guys. I really do suggest you try to get your hands on some of this filament or at least a sample to try it out. It is incredibly beautiful, true to form with the Vertigo series. It's a very forgiving filament and it blends layers quite beautifully. If you want more information on the Vertigo Galaxy, I will leave links in the video description so you can see where you can get them from the US and the EU and the rest of the world. Once again, I wanna thank you very much for watching. I wanna thank my awesome patrons for their incredible support. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys. <laughs>